This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. The top of the 2018 NBA draft is loaded with athletic and long big men. And while there might be a few players rated higher, when looking at potential, few have as much of it as Duke's Marvin Bagley. Having skipped his senior year of high school to enroll at Duke early, Bagley's development might be behind almost every other lottery pick, but based on what he did in college, it seems clear he's catching up quick. Let's start with his three-point shooting, which bordered on elite by hitting 40% of them. I like his mechanics overall, as he finds good alignment utilizing the turn to get his shooting hip and elbow in line properly with the basket. The rhythm is also solid for a guy so long, and he's got a nice release. That said, virtually all of his made three-point shots were of the completely wide-open variety, and they were also almost all made within inches of the shorter college three-point line. Given lots of time to set up, get his feet set, lick his thumb and check the wind, Bagley can knock down these 20-footers. But when you put a defender anywhere within five feet of him, he struggles mightily. And when I say mightily, I mean some truly bad misses. I tend to look at how players miss as an indication of their shooting ability. And Bagley has lots of work to do, since I suspect with the athletic bigs in the NBA, he won't get many completely wide open shots. And it remains to be seen whether he can add another four feet to his range over one summer of work. And if you want to improve your game, I've got a fantastic video that will give you some secrets to getting open for three-point shots and maximizing the footwork to knock them down consistently. You just need to click on the link in the description below and you'll be on your way to improving right along with Marvin Bagley. Moving to his post game, while he did get plenty of touches down low, his skill down there is pretty low. While going up against many non-NBA caliber defenders, he was able to use his talent and athletic ability to make it work. The only move he really has is a lefty jump hook. There wasn't a whole lot of evidence of great footwork, or shot fakes, or spin moves, and at the NBA level, it's just not going to get it done down low. There is a long list of lefties who never use their right hand to shoot. Guys like Lamar Odom and Julius Randle come to mind, and you can add Bagley to that list since he's a guy who goes out of his way to use the left hand, even if it means a twisting, awkward, low percentage shot. His footwork on his drives is also inefficient, not maximizing his length, and as a result, he struggles to get by people when he puts the ball on the floor to get to the hole. So many of his drives end up as off-balance and contested lefty shots, and if he doesn't improve this, he'll be relegated to rolling hard to the rim for lobs and putbacks. He is fairly active on the offensive glass, and it was definitely one of his biggest assets with the Blue Devils, as he displayed great touch on his tip-ins. But it's hard to know if he'll do this well in the NBA, considering, like we said earlier, that he completely overmatched most of his opponents. In the NBA, there will be multiple guys on the court at one time as athletic as he is, so it will take another level of effort and strength to get those tip-ins. Around the rim, there is no doubt he has nice touch and great hands, something he can certainly build upon. Cutting and receiving tough passes should not be a problem for him, and if he can replicate the success that previous lefty-only players have done down low, then that should be a real positive to his game in the NBA. Unfortunately, Duke's offense did not involve him in many pick and rolls, which is a shame, since this is the most useful skill he has right now. He's quick mobile, and with that nice touch, should be able to get buckets with skilled NBA guards operating alongside of him. While he has shown some ball handling ability, it's still a raw skill that needs lots of polishing before we see him snatch a defensive rebound and push the ball on the break. Bagley did not fill up the box score on the defensive end, but did show willingness to give effort and use his quickness and length to disrupt shots. Don't expect much rim protecting out of him at the NBA level but Duke's reliance on zone defense made it hard to really get a sense of what he can do on that end. Overall, Bagley is a solid pick who can make the Grizzlies at 4 or the Mavericks at 5 a better team in the long run, but expect a steep learning curve his rookie year. If he is able to develop his 3-point shot and master the nuances of NBA defense, then he could be a terrific player. 
but it's going to depend a lot on where he gets picked, who is in charge of his development, and whether he's got the work ethic to get there. Sports fans, make sure to hit the subscribe button and adjust your settings so you can get notified immediately when we drop another great NBA video. Let us know how you feel with a thumbs up and a comment. After all, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You in?